go. Game number one in the finals of the Gold Platinum week number eight of uh, the Nerdy Shore weekly tournament. This is week number eight. Zerg, A.V. Riku versus Protoss Proth. Is gonna, how I'm going to say that? Proth? I'm going to emphasize that to a 20th degree. Orange and green. Going to be a good game. The Zerg. Going for the orange Zerg. Hmm. We're going to see how that uh, how that turns out for him. Not a standard Zerg color. Zergs are more cool colors, although green is a cool color. Um, you can use more of a bluish or purple. I want to say more of a violet look to them. And here comes A.V. Riku. Oh, not going for the F1. It's going for the 3-3 split right there. That is sexy. You grab three workers, you grab the other three, and you send them in each different place. Amazing. And, uh... Let's see. Yeah, yeah. And, uh... uh looks like Proth has a, uh... His, his split was, was different. I didn't... I wasn't looking at split, uh, Proth, so I can't, uh... I can't commentate on how his split was. But we are here on Tall Dream Altar. Um, and uh, this is the one that doesn't have a ramp at your front, so you can't use the high ground advantage. But it is a decently small choke, so you can block it off with a uh, some kind of a gateway and something else maybe, and get that one little thing so Zerglings can't run through. Um, the pylon placement, probably going to be putting something here, probably another, maybe another pylon. This is a very large map. Um, probably could be a... Uh, let's open up the name tab, make it all nice and shiny. Um, and... Uh, uh, might be going for some kind of a, an expansion. You don't know. Maybe maybe not. Uh, and it looks like uh, AV Riku just droning up. Still at 12 drones. No no early pool. No uh, early anything. Uh, 14. Or, uh, excuse me. Did I just say 12 drones? He's at uh, 14. Look at this. 14 drones um, versus 13 probes. And he's, uh, he's chrono boosting nicely. So he is going to be able to keep up. With that, no drones in production. Uh, is at 14, probably going to go for a fast expand. It looks like he is at a high number. Um, but does he? Where where'd that money go? Oh, there it is. There's the expansion. And uh, the probe did not scout that. Oh, and it looks like Night Fury is uh, lagging a bit. There we go. Proth um, sees the expansion timing, knows what's going on. And now a, uh, a drone coming out to, uh, to follow that probe. Make sure he doesn't put anything kind of like a... a any kind of anything in his base. There's a gateway coming out, so no, uh, this drone does see the gateway. He sees that there's no forge um, on the way as of yet. There's no way that he could have a forge down as well as a gateway this early, so he knows there's no uh, cannons in his base or anything like that. The hatchery is halfway complete. Uh, pylon uh, now down, second pylon. And a cyber core down here, not going to go for the full wall off, just going to. Uh, leave his base open. Might see some Zergling run by if uh, if that happens. But the spawning pool is now down on 19. On, wow, what a late spawning pool. That's a 17 spawning pool, 19 spawning pool. That's pretty uh, pretty late, but he was droning up hard. Um, and uh, uh, it's not going to matter, though, because there is no units being produced for uh, Proth. So, it's I mean, it's all good stuff for uh, for AV Riku. He's not going to need an early spawning pool. No gases yet, kind of Spanishiwa style. Um, probably going to see a gas soon, uh, or just a ton of minerals, and we'll see Queen Zergling. Um, there's the expansion done, already has it rallied, has it nicely rallied all to the same spot for both. Um, is going to use this to get this, uh, to build drones on this expansion. Um, no queens yet, uh, and, uh, two gas now down at, uh, while there are how many drones? 20 drones out now. Um, so that was 22, a little bit, uh, a little bit down. So now we have a stalker out. The warp gate technology is being chrono boosted. Supply blocked himself. The sentry not going to be getting out. Pylon finally getting thrown down. Probe sitting out here checking it out. Um, and uh, we'll see what's going on. What is over here? Overlord just scouting out around here. And one of these drones is a kill, apparently, but I don't know which one it is. Which one has low health? This one. One kill. Look at that. Amazing. 
and uh, and tinfoil XD is correct. Uh, there are 25 probes for Protoss, um, but he does not have an expansion yet. Um, we might be seeing a four gate build coming from him. He's got three gateways down the what is this a forge down now so not a 48 probably gonna see a three gate expand build that with the warp gates to put on some pressure um force him not to be droning so hard five roaches on the way two queens or excuse me five roaches on the field two queens out some drones now uh and uh we have some this is what we have on the field only one stalker and one sentry so nothing too big yet gateways being morphed now into warp gates forge being put down might be seeing some cannons a stalker we're gonna move out here to check out what's going on probe check and make sure there's no third up yet uh, and the roach is just sitting out here and uh, and kind of moving out now five roaches on the field moving out gonna go see what's going on uh, there are three units on the field as of right now sentry being units being warped in it looks like um, nope next is going down so not enough money to warp in those units could throw in a couple sentries with 300 gas um, and the minerals and just force field the five roaches sitting at the Zelnaga Tower, just checking it out, making sure the Zelnaga Tower is functioning properly, you know, giving it a couple checkup. you got to tune up your Zelnaga Towers every couple thousand years to make sure that they're still working and that they, they do allow to give you vision to the rest of the map. Uh, I'm not sure how Zelnaga Towers actually function to give you vision in the technology aspect. Maybe they interlink into your mind to, uh, to, to make you have more of an expansive sight range while you're standing near it. You're, you're so enlightened from the Zelnaga that uh, you... Uh, you suddenly have this huge sight range, um, and it must stink to actually move away from a Zelnaga tower after being that, um, that, uh, having that much insight. So now the roach is moving out, don't have roach speed, just kind of funkily walking along here. One roach probably going to get sniped. Nope, this one at 31 health probably wants to move that to the back. Um, now he's kind of in the back, so it doesn't really matter. He is kind of sideways. Uh, sentries, stalkers, and a zealot here are going to easily hold this off. Just kind of not even worrying about that. Just going to run around here. Didn't even realize this could be a good place for a reaper or a bosses to walk in. Those force fields doing really good. These roaches going to get killed. These roaches need to run around, probably back around this way to uh, get out of the way, but uh, not going to happen. And now these roaches going to go down. Sniping a S. There he goes. Gets one of those sentries. Pretty big deal. If you have uh, sentries, you want to keep them alive because then you don't have to replenish them and you can use that gas for things like teching up, getting out colossus, getting out carriers, or anything that costs gas. It's really intensive to, to lose that many sentries. And uh, there's only one sentry left now. Zerglings on the field now. No Zergling speed. There it is. Zergling speed on the way. Zerg melee attack and Zerg carapus level one. A bunch of Zerglings coming out now. Kind of switching out from Roaches into Zerglings um, after seeing the the two base play. A couple sentries being warped in. Don't have an, only have enough for one force field when they warp in. And now he's going to go put on some pressure. Um, five drones being produced. Lair on the way. That's pretty good. A uh, bunch of gas and uh, at a thousand gas now for the Zerg player. So he's going to want to be doing something with that gas. Probably going to maybe get a uh, uh, fungal, uh, or excuse me, infestors for fungal growth. That's a good gas dump for for uh, Zerg. And now these thing these uh, units are on the field, ready to attack. This sentry going to get caught out of position. Is going to die. And now the uh, Zerglings are behind. They're going to push in from behind. Get a nice surround, but. Uh, drones being pulled off the line, but they're pretty compact here. Um, Zerglings not really being able to do a ton. And wow, this is a close fight. There are really, uh, you do not want to have uh, Zerglings versus sentries and uh, stalkers. And now the stalkers are just sitting there in the base. One Zer Zealot up here. Going to have to abandon his expansion. Um, and this is not looking good for AV Rico. Uh, Proth doing a really good job putting on pressure with this delayed four gate. Um, and now throwing down two more gateways and a bunch of pylons as well as an observer coming out. Um, and it looks like this, uh, this f delayed four gate is going to push in and do a pretty good job. But melee attack level one, not quite done. This is going to go down and the, uh, a bunch of roaches being produced as opposed to zerglings. He does have the upgrades for zerglings complete now. Um, and not enough larva really to produce off these 1500 gas up, um, the... Uh, they do finish these things, but uh, two roaches are going to get sniped as soon as they spawn. This one only at 130 health now. I did get take a one-shot. Um, and now these uh, 
evolution chambers are going to go down, and uh, this is looking really good for Proth. He doesn't even have to uh, to finish him off right now. He can go back out of his base and just chill out and uh, get like a Colossus up and then push in again. He's gonna he's on two base versus a one base Zerg, um, who's stuck on roaches and now building spine crawlers in his main. A couple more units being produced. Um, he does have the six gateways now, but he hasn't made these gateways into warp gates yet, so he's only producing off four. This uh, uh, robotics facility not really doing much. Twilight Council and a robotics bay both being pushed out now. Lots of gas being consumed. Um, trying to get those upgrades, trying to get those tech tech advantages. Probably would like to see another expansion come out for Proth while he has this advantage. Kind of pushing in here, dancing along. Does not want to engage on those spine crawlers with these roaches because the roaches absorb so much damage. That spine crawler poking away at this one stalker. This one stalker is going to go down. And now, A.B. Riku is supply blocked from that, uh, from apparently an overlord got sniped, and now kind of microwing the, uh, the stalker. Um, and this one, uh, looks like this one, uh, sport spine crawler is, uh, is just barely holding out here. Um, does not want to lift that up, and these stalkers just sitting back here. Wants to just sit back, you just need to sit back and, and let those units sit there. Um, they're gonna run up and snipe the spine crawler as soon as they can. Um, and one roach out here gonna get sniped. That spine crawler goes down. There's now an open hole on the AV Rico's base. Gonna try to burrow the spine crawler right now. Um, and he's just gonna go back and kill some tech facilities. And only four roaches back here. This is not looking good for AV Riku. The uh, drones coming back now. Gonna fight these four. Not you don't you want to shoot the roaches. Getting caught behind the roaches though. The drones not doing any damage. The queen throwing off one transfuse. Finally, the drones getting through, getting surround on these stalkers, but it is a, still a one base uh, uh, Zerg against a two base Protoss, and that is not where you want to be. A lot of drones still surviving, only three roaches um, left, um, but Protoss only has has a ton of uh, of uh, supply advantage right now. He has 93 supply to uh, the 38, and Avi Riku not happy about this. Uh, attack weapons level 2 on the way, Thermal Lance on the way, and a Colossus coming out. This Colossus is going to be able to easily take out this Zergling Roach army, especially with the Stalker back up, and now that's on the creep, uh, A.V. Riku sees it. Ninus Network on the way, two more Zerglings trying to get that, that, that fight, but going to go into the Ninus Network and really try to pump in here. Uh, this is a well-placed uh, overlord going to be able to put a Nidus right here, but the uh, Protoss army is in his main, um, and they're all hiding in the Nidus. Um, drones being pulled off against the Colossus, not what you want. Um, drones uh, attacking Zealots with a Colossus behind it, Ex definitely not where you want to be. This Nidus worm now uh, sitting here, and he's going to try to do a base trade. Uh, problem is that he can warp in Zealots here against these Zergling Roach army and uh, take this out pretty early. He needs to run these Zerglings back and keep them alive. One queen here throwing out a creep tumor. Uh, and then a hatchery placed in the base to try and save this unit composition. Uh, the hatchery does go down in the main. Zerglings here trying to kill these. But when you have a Colossus in the back with 14 kills and AV Riku GG's out and leaves knowing that as soon as that Colossus returns to base, uh, he is not going to survive.